Hi, my name is Greg, and if you want to install WordPress at SiteGround Hosting, but aren't sure the differences between their hosting packages, how to get your domain name set up, and how to set up all their amazing features like the free SSL, free CDN, auto updates, and especially their WordPress starter kit that gets you free themes designed by SiteGround just for you, then this video is for you. I've used SiteGround for almost three years now. I think I have four or five websites with them that are a major part of my business. And I have to tell you, everything I heard about SiteGround from being one of the best WordPress recommended hosts to having personalized support and of course being lightning fast has held up. I couldn't be happier with them. And so I made this review slash actual start to finish how to because it's probably gonna take you about an hour to install WordPress at SiteGround. This way you can put this on while you get the process done. Hopefully I'll answer all your questions and if you have any more, you can just drop them in the comments for me. Believe me, no question is too crazy or too weird. I ask ridiculous questions all the time. And yeah, why don't we get started if that sounds like something you're into. Also make sure to hit that like button to help me out. Smash it real quick if you are super excited for SiteGround and check the description for all of the best links to get huge discounts at SiteGround. I email them from time to time to make sure we have the best discounts. So I hope to provide you with that as another way of saying thanks. All right guys, without further ado, let's get started. I'll see you on the screens. Here we go. All right guys, so I'm so excited to be here with you at SiteGround.com. I'm gonna to explain to you the different types of hosting SiteGround offers. I've tried out almost all of them myself and then we'll go ahead and get you set up with your domain, get those domain name.com settings perfectly, and then install WordPress onto that domain name that you choose at SiteGround, all right? And if you have a domain name you wanna use from a previous registration, maybe you bought one at GoDaddy a while back, we can of course use that one too. All right, so we're on the Manage WordPress hosting page, which is the plans we're inevitably gonna use because we are WordPress users. SiteGround has a ton of features which differentiate them from their competitors. Mainly in this list, you'll see on the left, the middle, and the right. So, what are these features and which one of these three plans are we going to go with today? Well, I think Grow Big is the best one because everyone who I help out at SiteGround inevitably ends up with the Grow Big. People get the grow big because they learn at some point they want to host unlimited websites like your site, maybe the business down the streets website. Maybe you just want to have three different blogs and link them to each other for better SEO and Google traffic. In any case, almost everyone ends up at grow big. But if you're on a tighter budget and you want to do the startup plan, you can always upgrade to grow big at any time through SiteGround's live chat feature. GoGeek plan would be great if you're a corporation, maybe you have a big corporate budget, but in our case, the grow big is the perfect happy medium. The features SiteGround offers to differentiate from the competitors are numerous. Of course, you get a free WP installation. They'll install WordPress for you without any code, knowledge required on your part, but then things really get good. You get a free WordPress migrator plugin in case you wanna take a site to SiteGround They'll do that all for free, and I have videos on how to set that up as well. You get WordPress auto updates, meaning your site will always be automatically updating, and they'll always have a backup for you if things crash or anything goes wrong, or if you just like delete the wrong thing. You get a free SSL, which is that cool padlock in the upper left corner here, showing people that might wanna buy from you that the connection is secure. Free emails through SiteGround, so you can have like you or support or hello, at yourdomainname.com. And then my other really favorite thing is the free CDN. I never knew what a CDN or content delivery network was when I first started using WordPress, but a CDN essentially makes sure that your website can load fast for people all around the globe. What you also might wanna know is that along with managed WordPress hosting, SiteGround offers the typical web hosting, which works for WordPress, but would be more for someone who just wants to build a website from scratch with like HTML and CSS, and they offer a WooCommerce hosting, which comes automatically installed with WooCommerce, the number one online store plugin to set up a online store business on your site. So super cool, three different things, and the fourth one is just the cloud hosting, which is, as you can see, a bit above our britches for today. So let's go back to our WordPress hosting page, and let's go ahead and get started. 
To date now, we've built so many different WordPress sites with SiteGround. It's been so much fun helping thousands of you guys on YouTube. We've built our Java Stop blog. We've built our SiteGround website, WP. And I can't wait to get you guys started with whatever look you want right now. One last feature I need to mention to you that SiteGround emailed me about to tell you is that they offer a WordPress starter kit after we install WordPress. So you're gonna be able to pick a look like this or this or any number of other cool website template looks. And with a couple clicks, it'll be installed on your site. Let's go ahead and make sure we get the best discount possible right now. Go ahead and pop down beneath the video where I've left you a link that should say something like get biggest savings at SiteGround. So go ahead and hit that link right there, which will ensure you get the most up-to-date discount at SiteGround. For our purposes today with the Grow Big, that'll be, I believe, $7.99 a month. It's really awesome because a few months ago, that price was even more. You can see it goes to as high as $24.99 a month when there's no discount. And I obviously wanna save you guys as much as possible because like you, I was in your shoes once wondering how I was ever gonna afford even a domain name. So why don't we finally learn how to install WordPress at SiteGround together? We can scroll down and click on the Get Plan button in the Grow Big column. All right, so we're already done with step one, choose a plan with Greg's lengthy explanation of all the features and comparisons. And now we can go to step two, my favorite step, which is to choose a domain name. I'm gonna register a new domain, assuming that you don't have any website, .com, .net, .org, whatever, already. Um, but if you do, like I mentioned before, just check I already have a domain and type in like my current cool domain .com or .net or .org, any of them will work, and then go ahead and proceed with whatever domain you had already. Let's delete that. We're gonna register a new domain, and I figure for this tutorial, why don't we just go with something super simple, how to install WordPress or WP because they don't let you use the word WordPress and great. They're gonna append the .com there for us and if you'd like, you can go ahead and choose any of these other popular extensions like .biz, .info, .nl. You can go country specific if you want, kind of cool, New Zealand, UK, bunch of different other ones, or you can go generic, a lot of which would be new, like .email, or maybe .plumbing. I don't know if I'd choose that one, but nowadays you do see more of the .club, .careers, and if you don't see the specific domain name you want, just post a comment for me beneath the video, and I'll try to work with SiteGround to get that for you. A couple tips on picking a domain name, guys. You want it to be simple. You want to avoid dashes, and well, numbers can be okay if it's something like site 49 or some kind of cool catchy number, but avoid any fancy symbols. Also the .com is the most recognizable and will be the most valuable if you wanna sell your blog or website to a bigger company someday. And just generally, if you can, I love two word domain names like Netflix or Home Depot or TripAdvisor or Facebook, YouTube. The list goes on forever. For some reason, two word domain names have totally taken over the 21st century on the internet. In our case, I'm just gonna go with super boring because that's how I roll, how to install WordPress at SiteGround. And we're gonna choose the .com, of course. It'll cost us $15.95 a year, so not too bad. That's the standard domain name price. And we're gonna go ahead and proceed. All right, congratulations, it's available. Also, congrats, we're now done with step one and step two. It's time to review and complete our order, then get in there and get down to business with WordPress. Let's go ahead and pop in an email that works for us. We can see if we move our mouse aside on the screen, it might give us a special price, but we're already getting $7.99, so we already have that going for us. And the email I'm gonna use is just hello at myfullname.com. Already built that website, by the way. Go ahead and pop in a password, no big deal. Just try to make it, you know, super secure. All right, then let's come down and Fill out our client information. So country, we're the USA, but go ahead and choose wherever you are. Should work great for international users as well. Don't need the company unless you uh, have one already. All right, and I'm gonna blank out some of this information just so you guys can't go on a shopping spree with my card. All right. Pop in your credit card information, guys, or if you want, you might be able to use PayPal. I'm not sure. 
how to do that at the moment. But again, post a comment if you can only use PayPal and I will set you up with a SiteGround option on how to do that. But in our case, any sort of credit card or debit card is preferable. All right, card expiration. I don't know why I'm saying all this stuff. I'm just kind of saying what I'm reading here. And of course, SiteGround's entirely secure. It's just like making a purchase on Apple, Amazon, eBay, wherever you do your shopping online. It's all 100% secured. And you do also get a 30-day refund policy in case you decide that SiteGround isn't for you and you'd rather not be a blogger or website person like me, which is totally fine. All right, billing address is the same as contact. I'm gonna unblur it now so you can see what we're picking. We're gonna grab the grow big. You can always change that by clicking this button. For data center, you can see we have six options. You wanna choose the one that's closest to where you will be blogging or making the website from because that should provide even faster speeds incrementally. So USA Iowa is good for me. Didn't really know what was down in Iowa, but now I know a site ground is. And yeah, up to you. Go ahead and pick the closest data center to you. For time period, I always think 12 months is the best deal. It's just, uh, for me, how long it took to make any money blogging and with WordPress websites, building them for clients, etc. And if I hadn't stuck with it for 12 months, I wouldn't know how great it can be. And also it doesn't hurt that the price is a lot more if you go outside of that 12 months. So 12 months, boom. Good to go. We're going to do the domain registration. We're going to say no to privacy because I generally trust people. Just extra money today, but you can add on the privacy or the site scanner later on if you want. And voila, we've made it to the bottom, guys. All right. Super happy to, you know, sort of hold your hand through this process because I really could have used someone too. Once we click the confirm and you don't have to get the newsletter from SiteGround if you don't want. Then in the next step, SiteGround is going to go ahead and set up WordPress for us, like I said, with no coding necessary. So they're not going to like leave you alone on this process. It's all super guided and basically the most modern thing I've ever seen in WordPress. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's click pay now. And in the next step, we're going to go ahead and make our WordPress.org sites come to life. All right, let's do it. All right, awesome folks. If you get the green check mark page, your account was successfully created. If you didn't, then make sure to post a comment for me to help you work it out. But for now, everything worked. We also got an email with login instructions for getting back into our account and managing it and learning everything about SiteGround. But for now, all you need to do is click on that proceed to customer area button and we can keep moving. All right, guys, there's one notification here we should look at, which is to verify your domain name. So you're going to get that in the email inbox. It should just be a couple clicks to verify ownership. I'm going to step aside so we can really focus on what's on your screen and mine. On this page, you're going to see tutorials for some of the things I pointed out as the features when we set up our SiteGround hosting, like the installation, migrator, auto updates, and so on and so forth. They're going to help you migrate right here at number one. You can point your domain. If you got your domain somewhere like GoDaddy, you're going to want to follow that one. You can also transfer a domain name a little more complicated and so on and so forth. And these are all really cool tutorials. So you never get lost at SiteGround. But for now, you probably just want to get WordPress up and running. So let's go ahead and click set up site right here. Okay, cool. So we can choose now here to start a new website or to migrate website or to skip and create empty site. Creating an empty site would be like creating a blank folder for a website that you were gonna install some software onto later. Pretty advanced stuff, and we just wanna stick with the most basic option, which is to start a new website, AKA install a new application, which is WordPress. So let's go ahead and select that one. And there's WordPress, so we can just select WordPress. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead with the installation details here. This is the famous one-click WordPress install you might have heard about. 
And all you need to do is just pop in our email address. We're gonna pick the same one that we used when we bought our hosting. And a password, which will be your WordPress password as opposed to your SiteGround password, which we set up a little bit ago, which logs you into my.siteground.com. This one instead will log you into your WordPress website itself. Okay, once you've achieved a good enough password strength right there, feel free to make it as strong as possible, by the way. WordPress websites, just like any website, can get hacked if someone tries hard enough or if you're doing something really valuable. So keep your password very unique. And once we're ready with the email and password, let's now click continue. All right, one more time, it's going to ask if we want to add a SG site scanner to our site, which is basically like a monitoring service that checks our website for if it's been hacked. But I think you'd know if it's been hacked and SiteGround would probably just email you as is. So we don't need to pay for that. And domain privacy, we already said no to. So we're just going to finish and keep it on a budget. All right, and by clicking that button, SiteGround is going ahead and installing WordPress for us. So if you thought you needed to know all sorts of fancy code like HTML, PHP, JavaScript, Python, Ajax, C++ and all, then you will be happily surprised because you do not. All right, and it says you are all set, so congrats again. Your website with domain, how to install WP at SiteGround has been created. Now there's two more tips for how to proceed. So we have point your domain. Interesting. Well, we got our domain name at SiteGround, so we shouldn't need to do that step. However, these two are your name servers. You should go ahead and copy those down and put them in a safe place. So I'm going to copy them and just open up a new note and paste them in. All right. So in some rare cases, you might need to point your SiteGround domain name at a different location if your website all of a sudden lived somewhere else, but your domain name still lived at SiteGround, then you'd need these two pieces of information. But for now, I think we're good on that. And now we can go to Site Tools. So all this was done in the client area, but to do other tasks like set up your free SSL or set up your CDN, we have to go to Site Tools, which is like the WordPress backend within SiteGround. So let's do it. All right, guys, welcome to Site Tools. If you were to click on Install and Manage WordPress, that'd be redundant because we already did it. So it's going to show us that we have one installation here that we can manage, and that's our domain name we created at SiteGround. And if you want to check out your site, all you need to do is click on this little arrow that goes through a door, and it's going to take us right to the WordPress login page. Super convenient. And in fact, along with that, it's going to take us to the WP Starter page aka WordPress starter, which is where you can pick a free template at SiteGround. We're going to cover this in just a second and set up a free template for you, which is professionally designed exclusively by the team at SiteGround. But for now, I just want to show you a couple more things here in Site Tools. All right, yeah, guys. So from this dashboard screen, I want to show you several of the features that we talked about and promised you in the introduction to the video on this list, like the auto updates, SSL, backup, CDN, and so on and so forth. So from our site tools dashboard screen, we can click on security and open up our backups. Once you click backups, you can easily make a name like backup. So for like first major project, create the backup and you'll get a physical backup of your site that you can restore at any time and go ahead and go back to that version of everything. And we have five backup slots available. Also in the security tab, we can click on SSL manager. Of course, you get a free SSL at SiteGround. So all I need to do is make sure your domain name is selected and select the SSL you want. So let's go with the Let's Encrypt because it's free and amazing and click Git. And easy as pie, Let's Encrypt is installed for our domain name. So it's really never been easier to install a free SSL on WordPress, which is crucial for the security of your website. Super cool. We can also go down to the speed area, open up speed and you're going to see we have caching. So this is where the CDN lives at WordPress. 
All you need to do is make sure this checkbox is on and you'll get that increased speed on your site. If you want to learn more about how that works, you can go ahead and check out the different types of caches that you get automatically like dynamic cache and memcache. But all I think we really need to know right now is that if you look up your site on a tool like Pingdom, which is a site tools speed test, I can just get you to that exact address by Googling it. If you go ahead and look up your site right here and choose the proper location, it's going to generate a lot faster response time and a lot better grades than you would on a different host. So go ahead and have fun with Pingdom website speed test when you want to like impress people that are looking at your website. You can also set up a Cloudflare account if you want by clicking over here. You just need to get one actually going at cloudflare.com. Cloudflare is an amazing company. They're also a stock traded on the New York Stock Exchange called Net which I've had in the past. It really has done well for me. Only problem is right now it's at a nearly all time high. So wouldn't necessarily buy it right now, but it has definitely gone up a lot in the past year, 174% and then some, and this company has a lot of money. So Cloudflare, good company to work with as well. And SiteGround has your integration covered. All right guys, so then also in the WordPress tab right here, we have the auto update which is basically just a way of making your site update to current versions of WordPress automatically. If you get the green up to date sign, you're good, but you basically have to click update in WordPress manually if you don't have SiteGround, but now that you have SiteGround, you get auto update. So it's gonna do the major releases for you and it's gonna check for them every 24 hours or however long you want it to check on a given basis. And it's gonna do the minor releases as well. So like a major release would be like WordPress, 5.7 or 5.8 or 5.9 and a minor release would be like 0.2 or 5.7.3 or 5.7.4 you get the picture and you can also choose to update plugins which is super good for security guys i can't tell you how many times my plugins have not updated back in like 2014 15 and 16 and then two of them conflict with each other and all of a sudden people in a certain part of the globe are saying they can't see my site because the plugins are like fighting with each other or there's a glitch in a plugin you like and your site gets like all messed up. So up to date plugins, super good, super underrated feature that auto update from SiteGround. All right guys, so now that you know about those features that we promised and you're guaranteed all of them, including those other ones, but you know, we don't have time to cover every little thing right now. I wanna go ahead and move on to the actual WordPress template we're gonna pick. And to do that, we can actually just go to the dashboard area, click install and manage WordPress again, and you already have WordPress installed, so we don't need to do it again. But what you do need to do is click on that arrow through the door again, and that will get us to the WordPress dashboard. So super cool, I know before you got to that WordPress starter page and it looked all exciting, and now that's just removed. I'm sorry, it's gone forever. You can view your site right here and it's gonna show you the default WordPress template and you can click the button to go back to the dashboard. I know it's a bummer, but just kidding because you can get back to WordPress starter just by clicking start now in the middle of your screen. All right, now we can pick our own template with WordPress starter, unique to SiteGround users, of course, no one else gets this. Let's go ahead and click start now. And it's gonna ask us all sorts of different designs we might want. All right guys, so I know it's a little bit of a big deal here. You don't have to pick your niche or your site design right now because you might just wanna like mess around with WordPress and go ahead and publish a blog post with the default template. But if you do have an idea what type of site you want, this is a really good way to get a leg up on the rest of the world. All right guys, so really take your time do you, when you pick your starter template from SiteGround, wedding, super cool. You can always click and preview it and see how it looks. And it's super easy to change all the text and change the icons and stuff to make this sort of site totally you. It's all drag and drop, point and click, get the job done. That would just be obviously one very niche example for a certain type of site. Super inspiring though, you know, maybe you want to make a wedding website for your friends and they say, hey, what do you charge? And you're like, well, you know, 
this much an hour and then what you do is you use your new site ground skills to get the job done. Just an example, obviously so many different types of sites you can make, companies, restaurants, coffee shops, gyms, you name it, but I personally have always wanted a portfolio site for myself and I think that's one of those things we never get around to doing because we're so busy creating and we don't actually put up everything that we've made. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself a freelancer portfolio site. It's a tough choice for me between design portfolio and freelance. Just because I think both of them are super simple and clean and they really showcase the work in an awesome way. It's a tough call. Really tough call, but for me, I just love the simplicity and I like the purple of the um, freelance. So let's go ahead and we're going to select this one, which is freelance, super cool, or freelancer rather. And once you click select, it will become yours. You just got to choose which um, useful functionality goes on your site. When you see the word functionality, it means plugins. All right, so we're going to choose plugins for your WordPress site that enable the functionality you want to have. And we got the contact form. You can sell stuff with the shop if you want. I'm going to select maps and I'm going to do the gallery and also make it multilingual. Who would have ever thought that all these tools are free? Honestly guys, if you contacted a web designer in your town and told them to make you a website with the contact form, maps, shop, multi a gallery, and on top of that made it multilingual, they would charge you upwards of $2,500. If you think I'm crazy, go out and get a quote and you will be amazed. But we get all this for free at SiteGround. So all we need to do is click continue and you get even more stuff. So let's choose to have optimized for SEO. And um, yeah, some of these other ones are free trials. So we just wanna go with the ones that are actually free. I'm just gonna go with optimized for SEO because I like all-in-one SEO as a plugin. And I'm not sure about these other plugins. But feel free to try them if you'd like. Maybe you'll become a master at them. And we'll click complete. And it's going to go ahead and set up everything we asked for it. It's literally like ordering a meal on a plane and you have no idea where the food comes from, but then it shows up. And because you're on a nice flight, it all looks great and it actually tastes great. And you are just, meanwhile, traveling through the skies in the cloud. All right, guys and gals, if everything works, you'll get the green check mark again. Congrats, your site is ready. You've completed the installation of the items you selected. You may now proceed to your WordPress dashboard. So let's go to dashboard. And it'll take us back to our actual WordPress.org dashboard. All right, and it says we're using Otter. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start this onboarding thing. It says, how do you am all the Otter? All right. Cool, just some different site tools here that always can help us figure out. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm bored already. I'm gonna skip that. Let's go ahead and see how our site looks. All right, so let's click on where our site title is, which is just my WordPress. And voila, you now have a fully functional freelancer, coder, developer, designer website. So congratulations. If you wanna get back to the editing area, just click on your site title again. That's just kind of how it works in WordPress. It flips back and forth. All right, guys, if you want to change your site title, which is my WordPress, come on down to settings and then click on general. And you can change it from my WordPress to like freelance. Awesome, for example. And you can also change the tagline right there. Just another WordPress site made on YouTube with our amazing video right here. Keep your email as you want it right there, don't change that. And you can also change your WordPress address and site address if you wanna put the www in them. Just make sure you do the same thing in this box as you do in this box, otherwise it'll cause some problems in your site. And let's save the changes. Super cool. All right, we're gonna go back to the dashboard now and it's gonna say we need a few updates. Let's click update. And we just want to update whatever plugins it asks us to do. Let's update those. And I understand, guys, it's going to take a little time for you to get familiar with all the tabs here on the side. 
WordPress is a little bit um, of a learning curve, I guess is the best way to put it. But the more you click around, the more you create, the better you'll get. And these are priceless skills for life. Why don't we go back to our homepage? All right, and let's see how to just edit like a simple part like this text block right here. So we're just gonna go to edit page. All right, and here we are in the WordPress block editor. So it's kind of the new and amazing way to edit in WordPress. And the X out of that, because all we need to do is just point and click and we can change this to whatever we want. I'm a freelance YouTuber. Take that. I don't know what that would even mean, but that's what we are. And you can come down and if you want to change an image, like you obviously have an image of yourself, then go ahead and on the right, click on style and it's going to show you the background type. So we have an image selected, which is just this little image button. And you can just click to remove the image if you want and then upload one of your own images from a computer. Just select whatever image you want to use on your desktop or in your downloads, for example, and go ahead and click on open and the new image will come in. So pretty cool. There's our new background image, although it looks like really goofy because it's a different size, but you get the picture. Obviously you'd have to size the image accordingly before you put it up. I have this cool image of purple mountains, which might look better than whatever I was doing there. Super cool. You can easily change the image there guys. And, um, yeah, you can change any other text by clicking and editing it. You can click on the icons here and I'll just give you a couple more tips while we have a little time. Your icon picker will help you choose any other icon you want. All right. You can go ahead and make the icons correspond with whatever it is you're saying. So if you're like talking about booking a room, you can be like, you know, experience the best in online booking in Minneapolis where I live for example all the changes are super easy to make and there are just so many options when you click around and get to know your pages and blocks once you're ready with your changes just click update all right and then to view what you made just click on the WordPress icon and then click back to the home page all right guys, so that is how to set up your own SiteGround WordPress website and install WordPress at SiteGround and go ahead and get yourself a free WordPress theme, AKA template. If we had a little more time, we could update our blog, but honestly, like this is a lot cooler of a blog than I started out with when I made my first WordPress site. So I think you're in good shape. We have a portfolio where you can put the cool things you're making in real life or on the web. And I'm just so excited to see what you guys do with your own SiteGround WordPress websites. So let me know, that's all I ask. If you learned anything here, please make sure to hit the thumbs up, hit it so hard it turns blue and just, you know, hit it again if it doesn't work because it's free and it's really a great way for me to know that you stopped by. Go ahead and post a comment just to say hello. I'm here every day and I really don't have many people to talk to so I'd love to talk to you. And yeah, go ahead and obviously subscribe because you made it this far. So it would mean a lot if, you know, we could hang out even more on here and you could learn from other WordPress tutorials. And yeah, just please subscribe. I know like only one fourth of the people that watch the video subscribe, but it would mean a ton. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and we can be friends on YouTube. Let me know how your website's going, guys. I have definitely walked the walk and learned how to make something out of nothing, whether it's from Google AdSense or getting clients or affiliate marketing or doing anything in WordPress. I'm happy to help. I'm Greg Ryan. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.